So recently, uh, there's a video that popped up asking about this question. 2 to the power of t equals t to the power of 32. What is t? And there was a solution that generated 2 million views, over 2 million views. But it was so long, over 6 minutes. And part of it is not too elegant. And so let's see if we can do better. So first thing I would do with this one is I would, since this, you notice the 2 and the 32, it has to be something to do with the 2 base, right? So let's assume, let's call it, introduce a new variable t equals to 2x, right? So rewrite the formula, 2 to x, 32, right? And so we get that t equals 32 x right the power equals each other right but we also know that t equals to 2x right so basically we just brought everything down and so so how do we tackle this right so 32x equals 2x and that video that 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 i just mentioned just basically kept keeping everything in the in the underneath, introducing 2 over 2, blah, 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 all this stuff. But we know here, x, it cannot be 1, obviously, right? But it has to be somewhat of a power of 2, right? So the real answer possible, we don't have to check each one of them, but basically, it has to be 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, and so on. Right, so we can just try each of those, right? So there are only four, like a few points that you need to check. So 2, 32, it's 2, obviously, it's not 2 to the power of 2. 32 times 4 is not 2 to the power of uh, 4, that's 16, right? But 32 is 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 3. Is that indeed 2 to the power of 8? Right? So 8x here is 8. So plug it back into the formula. t equals to 2 to the power of 2x. Then t is 256.